Hello and welcome back. And today I'm going to kind of give my opinions on this LG soundbar. This is the uh, SN7R. And so once again, this soundbar will come with the soundbar itself. It's got the subwoofer and it also has the wireless left and right rear channels. And so this is my TV right here. This is the uh, LG OLED TV. And so the first thing, you know, I kind of like one of the gripes I have on it is look at the height difference between the TV and the soundbar. So you'll notice the actual soundbar is roughly like an inch, inch and a half taller than the uh, the bottom of the TV. And so that's pretty much cutting off some of those uh, part of the screen. So as you can see on the TV itself, you see that it has some icons on the bottom under HDMI 3 and HDMI 4 that is actually being cut off. And yeah, you may notice that I do have that, I temporarily have a uh, HDMI cable kind of under that sound bar, but it is still cutting off that. And one of the issues I've noticed is that when using the remote control with the with the TV, that it's giving some issues with uh, kind of being able to register. And so let's kind of go back over where we went over before. So on the, you'll see that you know the unit does have buttons on the top. So we've got the power button, we've got the function button, and then the volume. And then on the back, we have the power. We've got the HDMI in and out. We have a USB, so if you want to plug in your flash drive with your MP3s and content like that, you'll be able to do it. And we also have an optical cable, the toss cable. And that is going into the back of my TV, or actually this... Yeah, the back of my TV, and it's going into the one with the ARC, the E-ARC. The reason that it's going into the one with the E-ARC is because once I have it plugged into there, I can actually use my the remote control for my TV. And if I'm using the remote control for my TV, let's say I turn on my TV, it will also turn on the soundbar itself. And so likewise, if I'm turning off the TV, it turns off the soundbar. And so one of the other things I want to show you is going to be the remote control for the soundbar. So you'll notice that we have the, we've got the power button, we've got the volume up and down, we've got the function, we've got mute, and then, you know, we have these buttons, which is used for like kind of multimedia controls. These sound effect buttons, that is so you can actually change uh, the DSP or the different sounds that, you know, you can get the sound bar to have. So you can have it in like a music mode or a movie mode, or it even has its own LG AI, which it will pretty much just... Um, give you what it feels is going to be the best sound for the content itself. And then if you push the I button, that's going to show up on the screen uh, what type of mode that you're using. And you'll notice, you know, on the front of the unit, it does have the screen or, or like a LED display that will dim and when you actually go in to make any changes using the remote, it will get brighter. And then after a few seconds, it will actually dim out. One of the cons I kind of have is that even if it's dim in a dark room when I'm trying to watch a movie, it does really stand out. So it'd be cool if, uh, you know, this display actually kind of turns off after, you know, a few moments and that would make a big difference. So let's kind of go through the modes. So when you go into the unit itself, if you push the function button, here's what we have. So we have the OPT, which is for the optical. So that's uh, gonna be using the toss cable that's coming in the back. We have Bluetooth. 
If you have it on Bluetooth mode, you'll be able to scan uh, using your phone or whatever and kind of connect to the soundbar wirelessly. And then LG TV is pretty much just using the HDMI to get access to, you know, the TV itself. HDMI, so now it's using the HDMI inputs. We have USB, so if you plug in a USB into the back of the soundbar, you'll be able to play the music that's on there. And so here's the one where you've got uh, the optical again, and so you're also able to do the HDMI on that. And so those are the different modes that you have. Let's kind of look at the sound effects that we have. So we have movie mode, music mode, Here's the LG AI mode. This is the one that kind of accentuates the bass. And then here's the standard mode. And then we also have this one right here where you're able to kind of manually adjust how loud each one of those speakers are going to be doing. So let's kind of go through that. And so those were the adjustment modes that we have for that. So let's kind of talk about, you know, what I think about the sound. The sound is pretty good. So if I'm just watching TV or if I'm just going in and listening to music using the uh, Bluetooth, it sounds great. Uh, one of the things I, I kind of feel is lacking is kind of the surround sound mode. So when I actually am watching a movie, I've tried it with different sources. So I've tried it with like, you know, DVDs. I've tried it with Blu-rays. Uh, it does not have, you know, that great of a soundstage and, you know, kind of moving the sounds from one speaker to the other. It's kind of lacking in that regards. So if you're wanting to get a true, you know, kind of immersive sound that it, this won't really do it that well. So going with, if you're wanting that type of sound, I would still go with my regular hi-fi setup that I've got. But if you're wanting, you know, something that's going to be simple, you know, easy to set up, this will do it no problem. And so I guess that's going to be it for this. And so if you have any questions, you know, just drop me a comment and... Stay tuned for the next one. Thank you.